When I think of a Zen garden, I think of creating a space where I can just relax. If you want to put a tag on it, it's a wellness space. But when you're designing your Zen garden, the only thing that really matters is that you feel great in it. <sighs> Welcome to our Zen garden. Isn't it peaceful? I can't hear the construction off in the distance or the cars driving on the main street. The dog's not even annoying me because I'm in my happy place. If you remember what this looked like before, it was pretty drab, unusable, and now, well, it is a perfect little spot, whether you're just looking at it or playing in the garden. What sets it off are the dark colors on the floor. We've gone with Eurostone, which is Zurich, and it's been shot blast. So it's got that nice fleck to it, and on a bright sunny day, it'll sparkle and look a million bucks. And then we've gone for a dark mulch. Now the mulch will actually dissipate and you won't see too much of it in the future because the plants will start to develop and take over the space. Now when you say Zen garden, you think of a Japanese garden and one of their theories is making mini landscapes. So you've got one here, you've got the uh, zoysia which will all join up and make like a pasture or a green bed. The liriope could be the forest and these rocks, well, they're the mountains. So there you go, one mini landscape. You can do it even on a smaller scale here. You got the rocks, this could be the coast. You got the rocks, the zoysia, and the water bowl could be the ocean. Now, if you're worried about having water in your garden that isn't plumbed in and turned over so you're not getting mozzies and flies, all you need to do is what they do in the whole of Asia. Every day, just come out, knock a little bit of water off the top, add a bit of water to it, and because the water's been disturbed, the eggs can't germinate and you won't get your flies and mozzies. I love the little feature of these rings and the contrast to the pebbles. They've just got bucks of spores in the center of them, white pebbles that you can buy in a bag of bunnings, and the edge, well, it's called link edge. It's aluminium, it's not gonna rust or disappear, and it just frames and separates the two together. But I've gotta tell you, as far as a garden design goes, I think every home in Australia could have a space like this. Whether it be just somewhere that you walk past every day when you're going to and from the car, or if you've got a room upstairs and you're looking down on it, it's a nice space to be in, and it's an even prettier space to look at. Um.